it's always exciting to start a new season, but you know, so just being done with camp and now it counts, that kind of thing, uh, comes up a little quicker once you get into camp a little bit. So, uh, you know, a lot of work ahead of us, but look to get off on the right foot here tomorrow. What did you learn about Morgan that you only knew as an opponent that you didn't know before, perhaps? And there's a bunch of stuff. I mean, you know, obviously his skating ability, his ability to skate the puck out of trouble, get up the ice, join the attack, those things have been real impressive. So we'll continue to talk out there, hopefully get out of our end quick and painless and play in their end. Could you sum, maybe sum up what you see as your role, if you will, on in that pairing? Don't mess up. What an opportunity for you as well when you get a chance to be paired up with, with a talent like this in, in terms of your career and, and, and something that you've earned. Yeah. Well, it's obviously exciting to be a part of this team, as I've said many times since July 1st. And, uh, you know, we feel like we have a lot of talent in this room, and if we put the work in uh, over the next six months, we'll put ourselves in a good spot to hopefully get in the playoff tournament here and go from there. Looking at Patrick's career in San Jose, he was 17 years old technically, starting with the likes of Bernie Nichols and Marty McSorley. You can remember what it was like for you joining the Canadians organization. How has your perspective changed now that you're amongst this talented group of young kids given uh, your stage of your hockey career? Yeah, it's a lot different. It was like 2000, 2001 was a while ago now. The game was a lot different. Players were different the way day-to-day -day things were done are different. So. Um, Obviously, Patty's a lot older than me, so he's got a different perspective, but uh, yeah, he's excited to be a part of this group. What do you recall the transition from Atlanta to Winnipeg and that community to, to a real hockey community like the Manitoba Capital and what it was like to play there? It was a lot colder. It was yeah. a much different, uh, much different city uh, in a lot of ways, but the place was obviously very excited to get a team back at that time. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the job done as a team there but the excitement and everything was, was pretty special to be a part of.